hi everybody welcome to the channel if you guys haven't already gone and seen the video on how to grow and harvest your onions i'll put the link at the top here for you to press and go straight over and check that out then you can come back and check this one if you want to keep watching this one then go and check that one out the link will be at the end of this video for you guys so in the meantime i hope that you get lots of helpful hints and, tr and tips out of these videos. Before I get started on telling you guys how I'm going to get these onions ready and prepped for putting away for the next few months, um, I'm just going to let you know the item that I'm using to put the onions on. It is a bread tray. So when you get your bread from the shops, some shops will keep them in the bread trays and put them out. Um, I managed to score a heap of these bread trays and I use them for all sorts of things and they uh, make the perfect hanging thing for a, for the onions. So if you can get your hands on one or two of them, that would be fantastic to be able to use them. If you can't get your hands on them, guys, just some sort of rack that you can use, um, some poles or something that you can just lay the onions on. They don't necessarily have to go through the way I poke them through, but it does make them um, spread out better, a bit more air between all of the leaves and that sort of thing. So if you can't get hold of them, don't stress about it. You can come up with some other ways. People hang them off, off of fences and that kind of stuff. Just make sure that they are in an area where they are not going to get full sun and it's not going to get too hot or wet or anything like that. So once you've pulled your onions out of the garden, guys, these have come straight out of the garden down the veranda and I am now putting them on the rack here. So you can see that I'm just poking them through the little square holes and they are going to be hanging here for several weeks. It does take some time for the onions to dry. Now it is very, very important, I'm going to say this again, to make sure that the one, they don't get wet. Two, they don't get full sun because they will bake instead of just drying out. So you can see them hanging through there. We're going to keep an eye on these and in a few weeks time, once these go, the tops of these onions are fully dry, I am then going to come back and I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to break these and get these stored up and into the house. It is just that simple. Hang them up let them dry and then come back and store them. So checking out these onions, it's several weeks later guys, I didn't record how long they've been here for but they've just been sitting here for quite a few weeks. Now you can see that they are really, really brown and nice and crispy and that is exactly where we want them to be. So the next process from here is to get them braided up and stored up and ready to go into the house. To get the storing process sorted guys, all we need is a knife or scissors, something to cut your twine or cotton wool or string or whatever you want to use. I'm just using some really bright string that I found in the house and uh, instead of going and buying some more, I'm just using this one. Now the what you need to do first with these onions is you need to grab the three main bottom ones you're going to do using, which is the three I've got here. Um, then the best idea is to remove any excess 
paper that is around your onion so the paper skin the roots that are on the bottom as you can see it comes off super easy in your hand and just giving them a bit of a clean up because this task can be really messy i suggest that you guys do this outside where you can let it blow away in the wind or clean it up really easy so once you've got your onions all nice and cleaned up like that so that when you do take them in the house they're not dropping bits all over the ground you just need to get a piece of your twine or string to tie the bottom together as you will see here my hands were not coordinating with my brain and trying to get this string tied up but I eventually got there and got this piece of string tied around my onions I finally figured out how to tie a piece of string around the onions. All right, so from here, you are just going to braid them together like you were if you were braiding somebody's hair. So you just need to get your three bits and start plaiting them. And then whilst you're doing that, you just keep adding another onion onto your pile and then it's braiding it in. So I'll just let you guys watch how I'm getting this done. It also doesn't need to be super neat and tidy. I mean, you are just braiding onions together to hold them so that you can hang them where you want to store them. So once you have finished braiding them, just tie off the end, give it a bit of a tidy up to make it look a little bit prettier and so there's not extra pieces that are going to break off and make this huge mess that we're looking at inside your house. And then um, tie your bits of string, the extra string you've got together and make a loop so that it uh, can be hung up wherever it is you are going to store it now there is another way that i have decided to store my onions i have a heap of baby onions little onions that i'm going to be used for pickling so i'm just going to show you that 
uh, instead of stringing the little pickling onions and spending that amount of time doing it that I am just going to top and tail them and put them in a bowl and store them how pretty does that look guys absolutely super splendid ready to hang up in the, sh in the storage room So these are the little onions that I'll be using for the pickling. Now, so I'm just taking off the tops of them so that they don't make a mess in the house when I take them in and taking the roots off them as well. Um, most of them usually just pull off. There are a few that are probably a little bit damp still that didn't want to pull off. So I've just used a knife and cut them off. So then once I've done that, I'm just going to store these in a bowl uh, because when I'm ready, I will turn them into pickled onions. And hopefully I will get you a video on that one at some stage as well. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget there'll be some links on the side here to go and check out the harvesting of the onions and hit that subscribe button like Gus has asked you today and we will see you on the next vid.